this is going to be fun. This is where every single one of my days start, which is right in front of the computer. I'm checking my emails and checking my Discord notifications. I've discovered that if I don't limit those activities to two to three times a day, I will do them throughout the entirety of the day and get nothing else done. All right, and with that little bit of work done, it's about 6.30 a.m., which is when my wife normally wakes up and we kind of do our morning routine, take the dogs on a walk, stuff like that. So I'll do that and catch you guys afterwards. And I've always wanted to do this. Vlogger transition. <laughs> Boop, welcome back. I'm showered, I'm feeling clean, I'm feeling cuter. Now it's time to get some real work done, but first, I should probably explain what's going on here. Basically in January, I took some time off to relax because I don't normally get time during the year to vacation and stuff like that. So I essentially played Total War Warhammer 2 like for 30 million hours. Bro, look at how much gold I have. Also, look at all of my armies. I am stacked, bro. And I also reminded myself of the fact that I'm terrible at Dota 2. 780 MMR pog? I could safely say that a career in professional Dota 2 is not in the cards for me. However, today is February 1st, and that means it's back to normal work. And I thought as a fun challenge to kickstart my productivity for the rest of the year, I could make a video every single day of the work week for the first five days of February. Basically what you're gonna see are all the things that go into running a channel. Of course I'm gonna hobby, of course I'm gonna make videos, but I'm also doing other things like responding to emails. Very exciting. On a more serious note, probably things like testing out new hobby products. Bro, is this product actually called Water Plus? Like a, like a better version of watered it? Experimenting with new film equipment. There's kind of a lot that goes into running a channel like this. So hopefully I can make some interesting videos these next five days and also hopefully give the channel a little bit of a steroid injection in the form of five videos over the course of five days. Everybody knows how much YouTube loves it when you kill yourself for the platform. So let's get it on with this vlog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Okay, so one thing me and Amber used to do a lot in 2020 was we actually had like a weekly meeting where we would schedule what we were going to do for the week and then we just stopped doing it toward the end. So it's a new year, we're going to try to do that again and hopefully it'll make us more productive in the week. One of the things on the top of my list was to clean up. Everything in the basement was a catastrophe, even the office was looking terrible and I wanted a clean slate. So I started by cleaning up everything. Sorry if the audio is a little crappy, the heater is running in this room, but while I was cleaning up, I just found these wood elves that I kickstarted from a brand called Atlantis Miniatures, and they just look awesome, so I just wanted to show you guys them, but yeah, look at the freaking casting on that. Insane detail. I also found this guy, and I think a few of you are gonna like this. The uh, legally distinct, yet very similar Doom guy. Also a pretty nice cast. And then lastly, Andy Wardle sent me his copy of The Goblin King, a model made by Lucas Pina, Pina Shea of the brand Spira Mirabilis. You can only get these models if you pre-order them. You can't get them otherwise. Look at all the little tiny dudes down there, dude. That's gonna be a fun model to paint. Cause I'm definitely gonna paint all these models, right? Right, Scott? Right? You. Yes. Yes. Let's see what Amber's doing right now. Amber, what are you doing right now? 
I am packaging up the duchesses we got from the back order. Yeah, so uh, since Black Friday, we had about 110, 120 duchesses to fill. And we finally got some in so we can send them out now. And also related to the duchess, I got a couple of casts from a different caster because I'm trying to compare quality. So I want to try to find the best casting quality for the models that I make. And so I'm going to prime a couple of these heads, three of the old ones and three of the new ones. And I'll put the images and a poll in the description of this video so you can vote on which ones you think are best. And I'm curious if we're going to see some kind of leaning toward one manufacturer, but if there isn't one, then we'll just stick with whatever is cheaper. Mmm, peasant food. There she goes! Off to the post office. Lazy. Lazy butt. Very cute. Very cute. All right, the next thing on my list to complete is to create a mood board. I have an upcoming collaboration with an associate from ZBrush, which is the software that people use to 3D sculpt more organic shaped things, less structural things. And he's going to sculpt the model for me and I'm going to paint it essentially. So what I need to do is I have an idea for a thing for him to sculpt in my head and to convey the idea to him I need to come up with a mood board, which is a collection of images that will convey that idea. Some images might convey just the armor I like. Some might convey the shape or the pose of the character that I might like. But either way, I kind of got to sift through some images on ArtStation and other areas to find ones that will create a cool character or a cool character mood board for this person to use while sculpting. All right, let's see what Paul from ZBrush can do with this. That probably took longer than I wanted it to. Uh, it's about 3.30 right now. Let's see what I can finish with the last 30 minutes or 45 minutes of work. What I did with my remaining 30 minutes of work was I worked on my Twitch channel a little bit, changing some settings here and there, but also most importantly, adding some new emotes. Speaking of the Twitch stream, if you guys want to hang out, it happens every Friday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at twitch.tv slash maniac. Sometimes it's just me doing the live streams, but oftentimes my wife's included or John's there as well. This coming Friday, it'll be me and John streaming at the same time, so come and hang out. It's a lot of fun. All right, that's going to be it for this day's vlog. You are likely seeing this video on Tuesday because I had to edit it on Monday evening. Uh, but the next one will be coming out on Wednesday for Tuesday's vlog. And hopefully it has more hobbying in it. Today was mostly just admin work, which happens sometimes. Definitely a reality of doing this stuff. Uh, if you like the channel and you want to support it, there are many ways you can do it. All things linked in the description below. Subscribe or die! But most importantly, don't forget to... Get my